Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Virgos. Let's see what's going on with you and the person that's currently on your mind, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your comments, all your shares. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading. Okay. All right. I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. Let's see what's the current energy between you and your person. They'll be back. Expect to hear from this person soon. Okay, whoever this person is that you're thinking about, they'll be back. Your spirit guides are saying, open up your heart. It will help you attract more love. This person wants you to open up your heart to them. This person, whoever this is that you're currently thinking about right now, present moment, your spirit guides are saying they will be back. This person wants you to open up your heart to them. For some of you guys, this person's coming back to open up your heart. That's their intentions. Let's see. Show me spirit. The will of fortune talks about a faded turn of events, talks about good karma, talks about a cycle moving forward talks about forward movement strong Sagittarius energy so for a lot of you guys this person's coming back towards you to get things rolling they want to move forward why is this spirit wow king of cups cancer Scorpio Pisces energy this person loves you this person loves you for some of you guys this is a faded connection yeah page of wands this person's coming in you'll get a text message more than likely from this person there's some as i saw two 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 on the clock there's some good news that's coming in from this person for some of you guys this person wants to marry you for some of you guys this person wants to move in with you for some of you guys you're going to hear from this person simply just to tell you that they're coming to visit you for some of you guys this person's going to be inviting you to some type of event there is some good news here there's some good news here, something solid. This person wants to communicate with you. This person wants to express their feelings and their emotions. How do they feel about you? This person definitely wants you to open up your heart to them. For some of you guys, this person's coming towards you to open up your heart. Yeah. How does my Virgo feel about this person? How does my Virgo feel about this person? Ooh, seven of pentacles. Okay, so you're very patient with this person. You're invested the empress Ooh, a lot of you guys are older than this person a lot of you guys you're older than this person for some of you guys this could be your baby mother your baby father seven of pentacles tells me that you guys are very patient you're invested but you know that it's going to take some work for a lot of you guys you do you want to be that of be that for this person loving nurturing you want to grow with this person you do for a lot of you guys for some of you for some of you guys you want to have this person's child for some of you guys you do have this person's child already or this person has your child already big big energy big big energy taurus libra energy let's see the hang one okay again a lot of you guys are trying to be patient three of swords for some of you guys this is there's somebody else inter interfering with this connection or for some of you guys there's fear there is fear that you're going to be hurt there is fear that you're going to be hurt or for some of you guys you may have been hurt by this person already and for a small group of you guys there could have been something third party that interfered with this connection yeah but what we're seeing right now present moment is that this person is coming back in yeah what's the conflict What's the challenge between my Virgo and this person spirit? What's the challenge? Nine of cups. Truly being happy, truly being content. The high priestess. There is some secrets here. There's things that's hidden. Eight of cups. Somebody's emotionally detached. Somebody's unsure. 
Somebody's unsure because somebody's not expressing their true feelings and their true emotions. Somebody's playing it very cool, like they're unbothered. Strong Pisces energy here. Somebody's playing it very, very cool, like they're unbothered. Whether this connection comes back together, yes or no. So whether that be you or this person that you're currently thinking about, somebody is playing it very, very cool. Somebody's either showing the other person that they're content without them they're happy without them or somebody's pretending seriously the high priestess i'm getting for a lot of you guys there is a for some of you guys there could be an age difference but i'm also getting for some of you guys there's a status difference meaning like there's there's a maturity not really a mature i'm not it's not it's not the energy is not so much a maturity in age the energy is a maturity in status in society in what the outside world sees upon the other person so whether that be on your side or this person's side, there is a difference here in this energy eight of cups for a small group of you guys the current challenge right now present moment is that someone has to walk away from someone else Someone has to emotionally detached from someone else. And for some of you guys, someone needs to open up their heart. Someone needs to open up their heart because someone is emotionally detached and extremely defensive. Emotionally detached and extremely, extremely defensive. Big, big energy. But this is a soulmate connection. This is a soulmate connection. For some of you guys, there's something here that's very, very, I don't want to really say there is some, this, this is almost giving me a codependency. For a small group of you guys, the current challenge is this person could be, could have jeopardized the family itself, could have je jeopardized your livelihood. For a small group of you guys, due to some type of addiction, some type of codependency. And for some of you guys, yes, it could be some type of affair itself. For a small group of you guys, for a small group of you guys, you may, the current challenge right now, present moment is that you're, you, you're dealing with someone right now. You may have not known this person had an addiction or you may have not really and truly saw, saw the red flags of this person's codependency. For some of you guys, you started a family with this person. You start, you know how they say to, you have to investigate before you actually jump into bed with someone or before you actually rush into a connection or a relationship with someone. It's like reading the fine print. For some of you guys, the challenge between you and this person is that you actually didn't read the fine print or vice versa. Didn't really see that someone had financial difficulties. Didn't really do the investigation to make sure that somebody was truly finished with another relationship. Didn't really and truly pay attention to the fact that somebody had issues from a prior connection or they had issues that they unresolved issues that they needed to resolve. So for some of you guys right now, present moment, the current challenge is either you or someone here, somebody's protecting their feelings and their emotions. Somebody want, somebody's keeping their feelings and their emotions extremely, extremely secretive. For some of you guys, the current challenge right now, present moment, is the fact that you didn't listen to your intuitions. You didn't listen to your intuitions. There, you were getting downloads. You were getting red. You were seeing red flags, and you totally disregarded it. You absolutely, absolutely, totally disregarded it. But tell me, spirit, how does this person? How does this person really feel about my Virgos? Ten of Cups. This person sees everything with you, sees the total package with you. Everything is fine. This person wants to make, this person wants things to appear to be fine. This person wants to let bygones be bygones. This person wants, if you've had a family with this person, this person wants a family. And for some of you guys, if this is someone, let's say this is someone new here. This person wants a family with you. This person could have been through a lot. Really and truly, this person could have been through a lot and this person sees that with you, everything is fine or everything will be fine. Big, big energy, big energy. Yeah, let's see. What's the potential outcome between these two, Spirit? What's the potential outcome? Page of Wands, again, you're going to receive communication from this person, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Now, this person could be younger or this person could be, you could be, you could come across as more mature than this person. This person is very, very, there's an attraction between you and this person. There is passion 
between you and this person for a lot of you guys you could have already been intimate with this person and it's good the devil this person has some type of codependency for a lot of you guys for some of you guys this person is absolutely obsessed with you as i saw 10 10 on the clock you know there's 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 a little and there's a lot for a big group of you guys strong capricorn energy this person they're so attracted to you they're so obsessed they're so codependent you may really and truly feel this in this person's energy you may really and truly feel this in this person's energy but you're going to receive a message from this person either a form of a good news or some type of text message from this person and what is this message going to say spirit and what is this message going to say Ooh, king of pentacles virgo taurus capricorn energy this person wants something solid with you page of swords page of swords this person this person's been investigating this person has been trying to figure out this is telling me this is like this is like plotting and planning this is doing their investigation this is doing their due diligence this is con conversing this person sees stability with you this person sees something solid here with you big big energy yeah show me spirit five of pentacles with the four of wands so for now some of you guys this person may not be on the on the same financial playing field as you this person may not be on the same financial playing field as you four of wands so i do see that this person is this is going to be someone here that wants for some of you guys this person may try to for some of you guys, this person may actually try to move rather quickly with you. They may try to move in with you. They may try and throw themselves upon you. There's a throwing themselves, wanting to move out. For a small group of you guys, this person may not have money or a place to stay. And this person is looking for a place to stay. Why? Because for some of you guys, this person sees you as this king of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. This person sees you as somebody here that has something stable. Four of wands, for some of you guys, you have a place to stay. You have a place for this person to lay their head. Queen of pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy. For a lot of you guys, this person wants to be in a solid relationship with you. It doesn't matter what I'm really and truly getting in this energy. For a lot of you guys, you're gonna have to be patient with this person. For a lot of you guys, this person is not on the same financial playing field as you. They're not. For some of you guys, this person is immature. For some of you guys, this person is younger than you. They're just not, I'm not getting this person being as established for some of you guys. Or it could be vice versa. Because some of you guys, you could not be as established as this person. But I do see where this person sees value within you. Now, whether that value is a positive or a negative thing, this person sees value in you. That's what's most important. Well, that's not what's most important, but that's what is so, that's what is pulling this person towards you. That's what's truly, from what I'm seeing with all these pentacles, that's what's truly pulling this person towards you. The fact that this person sees stability with you. The fact that this person sees that you see you that there's a potential of you being their husband or their wife. There's a potential of building something. There's a potential of truly, truly being happy. Yeah, big energy. Let's see. And show me, what's this person's next actions? We saw that they're going to message you. What's this person's next actions towards my Virgos in the near future? King of Swords. So this person wants to talk. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy, Queen of Pentacles. This person wants to talk about what's next. This person wants to, wants to have an open and honest communication. Like, what's up? What type of future do you want? Where do you see us in the future? For a lot of you guys, this person wants to talk about where is this relationship going? Do you see the potential in this relationship? This person wants to get on the same page or get on some type of page. This person wants to be on the same page as you. Big, big energy. Yeah, big energy. Show me spirit. What's your advice? What's your advice for my Virgos? A message for you. And for some of you guys, this is your twin flame. I'm thinking of you this very moment your love fills me with light i love you this person loves you your spirit guides wants you to know that this person loves you for some of you guys this person your passion ignites for some of you guys this is a twin flame for some of you guys this person has been put in your path for a reason 
for some of you guys as this reading started this is a faded turn of events this is something faded for a lot of you guys overall energy they'll be back no matter what even if this person left you this morning if this person left you this morning to go off because I'm getting something as funny as that this person as I see 1515 on the clock this person could have left you this morning to go to work spirit is saying they will be back later today like that's the type of energy that's coming through it could be something minute or it could be something where this person may have left you at some point in time but your spirit guides are saying that this person is going to be back big big energy let's see let's see if we can get some initials for this person if I can open it <laughs> let's see spirit show me get let's see what what initials we get for this person for my Virgos all right let's see so we have H we have W we have I we have B we have a we have L and we have E. Okay, so we have L like in Lawrence, Larry. We have Angel, Amber, April, Harold. We have Wallace. We have Benjamin. We have Ben. We have Ian. And we have Evan and Ethan. We have Emma. We have Brenda. We have Barbara. Okay, we have Heather, we have Laura, we have Lauren, we have Juanita, and April. All right, my loves, that is what I have for you guys. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't. Until next time, and know that I love every last one of you guys. Bye, guys.